Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Billie Eilish was recently featured in an Allure magazine photo shoot, and, as is often the case with her, everything about that shoot screams monarch mind control. While each picture might seem innocuous in itself, combining them together makes things rather obvious for those who understand the symbolism. In this pic, Billie is caught in a spiderweb, the same way monarch slaves are caught in the system. And, apparently, Billie finds this very boring. The center of the web focuses on a single eye, effectively making a one-eye sign, confirming that this is all occult elite madness. One reason it's called monarch programming is that slaves are said to transform from caterpillars to butterflies. For this reason, slaves of the industry are often represented with butterfly wings. MK slaves are subjected to trauma-inducing torture, such as forced contact with, or forced consumption of, spiders and tarantulas. That's a recurring theme in Billie Eilish's imagery. This pic is a great way of representing multiple personas, the ultimate goal of monarch programming. Anyways, here's our recent pic of Doha Cat. In a recent Instagram post, Doha Cat is wearing devil horns, with a shirt that says and, on the seventh day, God made me a gatekeeper. On the seventh day, God rested and didn't have time for your satanic crap Doha. In another pic, Doha is painting a demonic figure, or maybe an auto-portrait, that also contains a one-eye sign. The message is, she's a complete industry and there's no more substance to her except a Meanwhile, Drake released a new album, and the cover is a creepy goat. Apparently, it was drawn by Adonis, the son he ignored until he was called out by Pusha T. Here's a screenshot of Drake's video 8am in Charlotte. In the video, Adonis holds a drawing featuring a one-eyed satanic goat, which looks oddly similar to Doha Cat's painting earlier. None of these artworks are genuine, it is all contrived industry-generated madness. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. As usual, the one eye sign was all over the place in the last month and was performed by some of the biggest stars on earth in music, movies, and even sports. The message is, the occult elite wants to control anyone that's somewhat influential. In the past years, I have made several videos about Poppy, a famous YouTuber whose entire act revolves around trauma-based mind control. She was recently featured on the cover of Alternative Press, and, of course, she's doing a one-eye sign to confirm her status as an industry. <laughs> Vini Jr. is a soccer star who plays for Real Madrid and the Brazilian national team. He recently posted a picture of himself doing the one-eye sign, and, judging by the comments on Instagram, fans understood what it truly meant. While one can dismiss his one-eye sign as unrelated randomness, he's been doing it for a while. Here's a pic of him from 2020. They know what they are doing. This is Dan Harmon, the creator of Rick and Morty, on the cover of Hollywood Reporter. In case you didn't know, he's a... As if that wasn't enough, the co-creator of Rick and Morty, Justin Roiland, was recently accused of grooming and providing out. The eye on Dan Harmon's forehead indicates that he's stamped by the elite, maybe that is why he's not rotting in jail. The cover says, Dan Harmon needs to talk. I say. Dan Harmon needs to shut up. 
The promotional campaign surrounding the video game Diablo IV keeps getting more absurd, satanic, and ritualistic. Indeed, Blizzard Entertainment launched a campaign urging fans to donate blood, with the goal of collecting a total of 666 quarts of blood. The main prize of the sweepstakes is a custom liquid-cooled PC infused with real human blood. This is similar to Lil Nas X Nike shoes, which contain real human blood. The occult elite's satanic obsessions are infiltrating all aspects of society. Ex star Mia Khalifa recently launched a fashion company named Shaitan, which literally means Satan in Arabic. In this pic, Mia attempts the possessed look, while the word Shaitan in Arabic letters hangs over her G-string. This girl is lost. On September 23rd, The Telegraph published an article stating that the elite's favorite witch Marina Abramovic was asked by Ukrainian President Zelensky to become ambassador for Ukraine. Shortly after, the article was deleted. Why was the article deleted? Too real. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.